guys, welcome back to the Coal Factory. It's Raquel, the drama of it all, the Diva Cole drama and the Diva Cole saga. I'll start off with my opinion. I really am kind of just waiting to find out is the Diva Cole products in South Africa real or not? I think that Clix is a very reputable company and they have done so much for the natural hair community in South Africa and seeing Diva Cole being available at Clix made everyone so excited but then it also brought out other information that people have been sharing. Today's video isn't whether the products at Clix are original or not but I'm just going to share with you my thoughts on some of the Diva Cole products as I've been using them for a very long time. But before we get into the video, you guys know the drill. Please subscribe to my channel and also follow me on social media. So for today's video, I did do some prep. So I do have a piece of paper. You will see me looking down and reading stuff for you. And I also have some of the Divacol products that I have in my stash. And I will share with you products that I've tried. I'll also give you a bit of insight as to what products I think are a must have and products that I think, you know, you don't really need to have unless you want to spend that extra money. I know the prices in South Africa that we have seen, whew, like we are asking questions like what Model C school did these Divacol products go to? But Divacol in general is a very pricey brand. They are a brand that is really good and I will talk a bit about the results that Divacol gives. I know there is a bit of a misconception that Divacol is just for girls who have looser curl patterns. As I've said, I've used the product for a while and I do have type 3 and type 4 hair so I will share my views on that as well. But I'm going to start off with the products that I have and the different Divacol ranges that are available. So we'll start off with the cleansers. I have only used the Diva Cole No Poo Original. I have the very big bottle. This one has a 12 month lifespan and you guys can check that at the bottom of almost every single um, hair product that will tell you how long um, the product will last. I buy the very big one because I really, really love this stuff. For me, this is an hype. The no poo is really good, especially if you're someone who struggles with detangling. Your hair is very knotty. I, at times, my hair does get very knotty. And when I'm having one of those days, I will definitely co-wash my hair or cleanse my hair using the Diva Curl No Poo Original. The other cleansers that they have in the Diva Curl range are the Decadence line. And in the Decadence line, they have a no poo decadence cleanser and they also have a low poo delight cleanser. So those are the three different ranges of cleansers that they have in Divacol. This is the only one that I've tried and this is the one that I really like. Next, I'll talk about conditioners. I don't have a conditioner in my hair stash, but I have tried the conditioners from Divacol and personally, I didn't like them. The one that I tried was the one condition decadence and that one, when you use it after the no poo in the shower, those two do work good together, but you can detangle just with the no poo. If you use the one condition afterwards, it does make your hair really soft, but I personally don't think it's something that I need in my hair stash. The one conditioners on the bottle, it says that you can use it as a leave-in as well. It was a disaster for me. I tried using it as a leave-in and it didn't work at all. So when it comes to conditioners, the Diva Curl line has different ranges. And the ranges are the first one, the One Condition Decadence. That's the one I tried and didn't like. Then they have the One Condition Delight. And the last one that they have is called the One Condition Creamy Daily Conditioner. And I'm glad that they have that because I've always felt that Diva Curl doesn't have a leave-in. And as I said, the conditioner, they say you can rinse it out or leave a little bit in and use it as a leave-in. That has personally never worked for me. Now we're gonna talk about one of my favorites, which is deep conditioners. I love deep conditioners. 
And in my hair stash, I have two deep conditioners from Divacol. The first one that I have here is the Divacol Heaven in Hair Intense Moisture Treatment. I do like this and I've used it for a long time. And then I tried this one when it showed up. This is the Divacol Melt into Moisture Matcha Butter Conditioning Mask. And I'm gonna tell you guys, if I have to choose between this deep conditioner and this one, I'm gonna choose this one every single time. This one for me is way better than this one. And I know for other people, they will prefer this one here, but I'll always spend my money on this one than this one. Another deep conditioner or mask that they have, I've personally never tried it, is the Deep Sea Repair Seaweed Strengthening Mask. I've heard great things about it. It is expensive. And in a little bit, I'll talk about the price ranges of the products. Sorry, I forgot to mention that earlier. Price is very important to us, so I will discuss that as well. Now we'll talk about gels. I have in my hair stash the Divacol Arc Angel Gel. This gel promises maximum hold and it also says that it's a no crunch styler. Other stylers or gels from Divacol are the Light Defining Gel, the Ultra Defining Gel and the Believe In Curl Boost and Volumizer. I've tried the Believe In and I do have a video on it so you will see me using it. The Believe In I blessed my niece with. I gave that to her so she could try it out so I don't have it in my hair stash. But those are the different gels that they have in the Diva Curl line. I've tried this gel here, the Archangel Gel. And for me personally, I'll go back to the conditioner. When I used the one conditioner from the Decadence line and then I added this Archangel gel, for me, they didn't play well together. My hair was all white. You know that white cast you get on your hair when products don't play well together? That's what I experienced when I used the conditioner as a leave-in. But when it comes to this gel here, it's amazing. Day one hair, not so much. Day two, day three hair. Personally, I'm not a, a girl who likes volume. I like my hair to have definition and I like it to last for a full week. But when I use Diva Curl, I literally crush on my own hair. If there's ever an event that I wanna go to where I want my hair to look bomb, I will reach for a Diva Curl styler. I absolutely love the results that I get with the Archangel Gel. This stuff for me is something that I will definitely repurchase. Other stylers in the Diva Curl range are the creams. I have with me the Diva Curl Super Cream. This is the coconut styler. Other creams that they have are the Miracles as well as the Super Cream. As I said, I have with me the Coconut Curl Styler. This is really small. When I saw this, I was like, what is this? But a little goes an extremely long way with this product. This is also really amazing and the hype is real when it comes to this product. I usually use these two together to style my hair and the results are amazing. Before I end the video, I am going to talk about price and the cost of Diva Curl online is expensive as I mentioned earlier, but I'll just use a quick example of the Diva Curl Believe In. That product costs around $20 and on the Clix website, it is priced for 799 Rand and 99 cents, which is really expensive. I don't know if people are going to really go out and pay that amount of money. Um, I think it's a wait and see approach. I do know that Diva Curl is generally expensive. It is a super high end product with great and amazing results. I'm going to say this about Diva Curl before I finish this video off. The first time I tried Diva Curl, I hated it. I used the brand and I was like, why did I pay so much money for this? I put the products on my shelf and I didn't touch them for about three or four months. And then I said to myself, you know what, you've spent so much of money on these products, give them a try. Use them for three months non-stop or use them until they finish. So what I did was I started using Diva Curl every single week as my wash day products. And after the third or fourth wash day, which is 
up until about a month, my hair started responding to the products. And I know that for many of you, it's like, why pay so much if it's not gonna work the first time? And at least for me and my hair, it does take some time to get used to. And once I started really using the Diva Curl range continuously, my hair started flourishing using those products and I started seeing the results. As I said earlier, if you have kinky curly hair, they do have ranges for us. And if you take the time, and natural hair is all about patience, and you give the brand a chance, you will see that the hype is real when it comes to Diva Curl. I'm not sponsored, I'm just sharing my personal experience on all type of natural hair products. That's what I absolutely love doing, as you guys know. So what products should you buy from the Diva Curl range? There's so many and they're all so expensive. So I'll just give you some recommendations from me personally. If you're someone who loves cleansers and you kind of like a shampoo, co-wash kind of girl, personally, I'm a deep conditioner kind of girl, but if you're a cleanser kind of girl, definitely, definitely get the no poo um, cleanser. You will absolutely love it. If you're someone who isn't like into, into cleansers that much, I would still recommend that you try out their cleansers. I know there are other much cheaper cleansers on the market that will do a good job, but once you try cleansing with Divacol, that's the only time you will be able to really understand just how amazing the cleansers are. As I said earlier, when it comes to the conditioners, I would skip that completely. And when it comes to deep conditioners, I would buy this. I absolutely love this stuff. It's not that this one isn't good because this is really good, but I just prefer this one here, which is the Melt Into Moisture Matcha Butter Conditioning Mask. I would get this. And finally, as a styler, if your hair likes creams, definitely get the Super Cream if your hair likes creams. If your hair likes gels, then get the gel. Don't feel any pressure to get both of them. If you have the money, then yes, I would say get both. Because we do have some girls who really like using a cream styler and that's what works best. They want a lighter hold, they want their hair to have lots of volume. Get this, if you're a gel kind of girl, get the Archangel gel or even the light defining gel. I've heard great things about that as well. So these are just the recommendations that I would give concerning Diva Curl. I really hope that Clicks comes out and says something so that the air can be completely cleared. We are so excited to have Diva Curl in South Africa. It's not a negative in any way, shape or form. Whatever I've shared on my social media was just to share with you guys so that you know that there is other information out there. I personally will never say anything negative or put any company or any brand down. I gain nothing from that, so that's not the kind of person that I am. I was just sharing with other naturals because information is power. And with the cost of living being so high, we always want to make informed financial decisions. Wow, that was one hell of a video. I hope you enjoyed it. Drop your comments down below. You know the drill. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media. Let me know your thoughts on the prices of Diva Curl in South Africa. In the description box, I will put um, shipping if you do want to buy it from companies overseas, how you can get it shipped to you. Be careful of fake Diva Curl products, guys. They do exist. We all want to try it. If you see a Diva Curl product that is ridiculously cheap, there's something wrong. So I will put that in the description box down below for you as well. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you again next time. Take care.